Welcome to The Sherlock Show, I'm Louise and there is so much to look forward to today. Lou is delving into the wardrobe of industry legend, stylist Claire Richardson, and we take a look at what went on behind the first shoot of SL's newest recruit, Nana Achenpong. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guest, it's gonna be a good one. I'm joined by the style curator and creative consultant, Alexis Foreman, plus art director, Federica Labanca. Welcome, ladies. Hello. We all did a bit of brightness today. Yeah, we if did. you can show your shoes off behind the camera. This is an unheard of colour for me. <laughs> is I mean, it? it doesn't happen. It's really? just in the last few weeks. And it's raining, so we're just bringing yeah. a bit of sunshine and yes. vibes. Yeah. You've yeah. had your green juice. <laughs> well, I haven't. Not this morning. <laughs> oh. So usually it's the green juice. My husband's been waking me up with um, hot water, a green juice, and a coffee. He's such a gem. I know. Yeah, literally who does yeah. That? <laughs> it used to be just the coffee. And then I was like, no, Jimmy, I, what I need is hot water first. Can't just put the coffee in first. So then he's, he's listened and he knows I like my green juice. So he's, um, yeah, I hear this that blender amazing. go on Love in the morning. I'm like, he's on I know. it, bro. Yeah. Is there no lemon yeah. in the hot water? Just No. Well, I started with, hot, with lemon in yeah. the hot water, but then I read that it's not for good for your teeth. Our producer was just saying coffee first is not good it's for your skin. Great. You can't win. I know. I know. Apparently you're supposed but to wait for an hour. Like you wake up and then after an hour you can have coffee. Yeah. But I think you still need to put something in there. Uh, I'm doing in there. all wrong. <laughs> what did you had? You, you, you're, have. you're cool. What did you have? I don't know if I can say it on camera. You're can I say you're it on camera? No, you're calling him out. I wasn't going to. Come on then. What did you have so, for breakfast? A coffee and a cigarette. It's not really my breakfast, but basically it stimulates me. Yeah. Like, you know, it gets that... Yeah. Kick? I don't know. I don't know. It, it just works for me. I get so it. So don't I mean, change what works. You know, like this, yeah. my smoking days are long gone, but I do miss that that little punch thing. Yeah, me. yeah. That would that would what, what it does for mm. me. That little punch yeah. in the morning that we all need. The right? green juice and the hot water don't do that. No, 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 no <laughs> it's no. supposed to. It's supposed to. But we get boring when real. we're in our forties. You'll get there. Yeah. Where's where's your bracelet from? It's gorgeous. Oh, this is Agmez. Okay. I, yeah, they're great. They're, their jewellery is beautiful. They're like a New York brand. I love that. Let's talk <laughs> about beauty trends and the sort of no makeup. Mm. This is what's interesting. We're going mm. to talk about the fact that um, Pamela Anderson was seen, uh, whoever's idea this was, was Genius. amazing. Genius. Yeah. So many red carpets, including Fashion Week, with zero makeup. Yeah. And then Sarah Snook, who plays Shiv in Succession. I know Obsessed. we love Succession. She's also said recently, you know, she doesn't want to be judged by how glam she looks and the makeup she's wearing. And so she favours a bit of a tomboy aesthetic. Yeah. It's interesting because mm. how do you feel about that? Well, I, yeah, first of all, when I saw Pamela, Pammy, as I remember her. Um, yeah, so when I first saw that, I was like, that is so brave and she looks incredible. That didn't really make me then think I'm going to do that. What happened was, for me, just maybe even only three, four weeks ago, one of my good friends, who's actually younger than me, um, she's been coming and working in my studio with me, and um, she picked me up and I was like, great, you look incredible. She's like, oh, gosh, no, I've, I've like literally got no makeup on. And I, and I realised, as I kept looking at her through the day, I was like, oh, this no makeup thing makes you look so youthful because over the day, she's not got any of that makeup going in her creases or anything. She just looked quite naturally yeah. flushed. And I thought, you know what? I don't wear that much, but I think what I'm going to do is just pull it back a bit more. But you have to be brave, but it, honestly, it pays off. I think as you get older, less is definitely more. And getting so, the right skincare so that the canvas looks exactly, good. Exactly, yes. So mm. there's a product at the moment that I'm really loving. Well, I, I'm really very strict with my skincare anyway. But um, for days like this, there's a product that perhaps Do we'll spill talk the about tea. later. Do, Do you want spill me to, the tea? Should keep it secret? Should I? Or should no, I tell you now? No, okay, go on. go on. So there's there's an incredible product by My Blend, and they have lots of different masks, but there's one called the Skin Renewal Peel. And you can put it on from anywhere from five to 15 minutes and it will literally give you new skin. Oh, wow. It's absolutely Genial. amazing. What about the Rode one you mentioned as well? Hayley Bieber's okay. brand. Right. So I've, I <laughs> do really love Rode. The glazing milk I've introduced as an extra step. Just sounds good, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's I want glazed milk after skin. <laughs> yeah. And you just sort of press it in and it... Oh, it's beautiful, glowing, fresh. And then straight after the glazing fluid, I think it's called. Yeah, that's my new hyaluronic okay. step. What it's do you think yeah, about it's, it Yeah, it's interesting because 
it just doesn't work with my skin okay. road mm. in general. I love the lip treatment, <gasps> but the skincare, it just doesn't work. I, I guess, it, I mean, your skin is fabulous. I'm acne prone. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it, it really doesn't work mm. with my yeah. skin. You have to be but, careful, don't you, with acne yeah, prone skin? Because I literally tried it once and I broke out. So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't work for on me. Yeah. But with Pamela, I feel like it's not so much about Pamela not wearing makeup because I personally don't really feel, I, I wish I did, but I don't really feel confident or comfortable enough in my skin yeah. to not wear makeup. It's, it's, I feel like it's more about, I don't know, it's refreshing how brands are now noticing this and cutting back on the, um, the cakey look. And like, yeah. it's about really going back to authenticity. Mm. That's what's refreshing yeah. to me yeah, exactly. that people are looking at that and they're like, oh, if, if she does it, it's, accept it, it's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that's the most important thing to me. Yeah. I think I agree with you. It's, it's more of that state of mind. Like, cause even I was thinking, you know, this whole contouring thing that's yeah. like been, you know, and, and even I was starting to like do little bits of contouring. I'm thinking, I don't know really why I'm doing this. And then the other day I thought, do you know what? I'm going to just trust that yeah. the way the light hits my face is enough. Yeah. Like it, you've got, you've got contours. Let's just like yeah. have the natural contours. Same with hair. It's like I've let my hair, I've washed it and let it dry naturally. I won't always do that, but I'm, really? I'm, you're lucky. Yeah. There, there is a way that, but it can get yeah. very frizzy. Yeah. But even that I'm like, I, I was saying to Jalal earlier, like I, I feel like you're, the hair that you've got and the nat the natural state of your hair has got to be the style that most suits you. It's so, yeah. It has to be. And yeah. so often people are trying to do the exact opposite. Exact opposite, opposite. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like, that's not... Um, throwing a curveball in on the beauty trend, because I've seen this a lot lately on social media, is the whole like mob wives from the 90s. Oh. Um, oh. The Sopranos look. Yeah. So it's complete opposite to no makeup. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, I can't get on board with it, but maybe sometimes I think... You know, people just want to write about something and make it go viral. Yeah. But that's a complete opposite to no it makeup. Is. Yeah. It, but then I, f I like, I, I like it, but it would, it's like a fancy dress. It's like being a character, isn't it? I totally. feel like if you need to do that. I to personally kind of... am that, but just because. <laughs> <laughs> but it, so I'm and happy. it's great on you. It, it's just because so I'm Italian. I have, yes. it's not like I smoke because it's trendy. I've like, it's, I'm not proud you of it. but came out of And I've, uh, <laughs> The Milanese that like I grew up watching my my grandma going like going around Milan with this massive fur coat oh. and that was the, yeah. m my reality. So I grew up with that yeah. and I am that now. I, I don't know. It's 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 funny how overnight something can become a trend and you're like, yeah. I know. like I've I know. been that my whole life. <laughs> Give me some credit. <laughs> but yeah, it's just funny this trend thing. How powerful yeah. it is. Yeah. Really. But, non yeah. chic, I love for plates and the way non yeah. decorate oh, the table. Yeah. That's my obsession. Yeah, love anyway, that. we better move on. Um, next up, a new fashion series called Style Insider, in which Lou Huff delves into the wardrobe DNA of some of the fashion industry's most stylish women. From understanding their personal style to their trusty outfit formulas to can't live without accessories. First up is renowned stylist and founder of resale platform Relux Fashion, Claire Richardson, who has styled everyone from Kate Moss to Margot Robbie to Giselle and has curated the most wonderful sense of individual style. Take a look. This is 10 minutes of pure bliss. You're welcome. Today I'm joined by Claire Richardson, renowned stylist and founder of resale platform Relux. Claire is one of the most respected names in the industry and we couldn't be more excited to get a sneak peek inside her wardrobe and chat through her favourite clothes. Welcome Claire. Thank you Lou. So what inspires your style? Honestly, probably actually my lifestyle. So I really need clothes that work for me. I have to be comfortable. Yeah. So sort of my go-to outfits, I can pull a few out, but I love jeans. I always wear jeans to work normally. Yeah. Love a leather jacket. This is Nicholas Gasquier. I've yeah. actually got two of them, which seems ridiculous. Do you have a style denim that's like your shape and your cut? I used to always be straight leg. Yeah. And now I go for loose denim because I'm taller. Yeah. I also have to get denim that's long the, the length, because yeah. otherwise it always looks like I'm wearing cropped. Yeah. But then I'll put like a leather jacket, a t-shirt on, or if I'm going sort of smarter, um, like I've got this vintage Chanel jacket, slightly oversized, yeah. I throw something like that on. 
but if I'm working and I'm on set yeah. and I'd have to be able to move around and running to get things I live in shirts yeah. and my husband's always like how many striped shirts do you need to own I've got way more than this and when when you say like you keep buying them what is that makes a good shirt that you're like right you're coming home with me I need to be able to actually like this I love roll, that it's already rolled up yeah roll up a sleeve yeah. slightly undone and actually even in my styling work when I'm dressing someone, styling someone, I don't like clothes wearing you. Yeah, yeah. They have, have to, to be exactly. And I think that really is what defines style, isn't it? Because yeah. like style is within you. Yeah. So, so you have to bring something to the clothes you're wearing. Exactly. And I think there's maybe it's a bit harsh to say there's nothing worse. Yeah. But seeing on red carpet, even a girl on the street wearing a full look of a brand yeah. and it's sort of this sort of cardboard cutout. Yeah. What I love is this sort of nonchalant ease yeah. to clothes. Yeah. I think it has to look... I threw this on and I look fucking good. Yeah, yeah. an ease and a confidence. Yeah. And you can wear anything as long as you have a confidence. Yeah. What would you say the three pillars of your wardrobe are? In terms of pieces? Yeah. Denim. Yeah. Love denim. I think we were just discussing yeah. off camera how many denim jeans I have and I probably have over 30 and I don't know why I'm not giving them up it's something okay. I now need to address after filming <laughs> what's going on and what because you don't wear 30 pairs no okay. do you I do you do. Uh, yeah when you God, said 30 I, I don't count mine a jacket yeah. obviously but a leather jacket yeah. this one is wow. so old I love this has a lot of history this yeah, one shirts Okay. Love a good shirt. There's this like little Celine one, which I think super nice, can be sort of smart and casual. But yeah, sh for me it's shirting, leathers, denim, jackets, Gosh. yeah. And how much of your styling do you then input onto shoots that you're styling? How much of it is like, I'd wear that? If it's a celebrity, yeah. I always look at them and either the roles they've played, but also what they're like off camera. Yeah. When I did someone like Margot Robbie, I wanted to make her be attainable to everyone yeah. and not kind of this Vuitton girl yeah. and this sort of slightly removed character. Yeah. I never normally overstyle. Yeah. That's why I love Phoebe Philo Celine, yeah. right? Because she really tapped into a strong woman, a confident woman, but it was all about also wearability yeah. and it was the detail of the fabrics yeah. and a woman who goes to work, she might wear trainers and a massive, you know, leather trousers yeah. with sort of fuck off diamond earrings. Yeah. There was always a spin and that masculinity. Yeah. Um, who are the other brands yes. that inspire your style? Um, Saint Laurent a lot. Yeah. So I've got like this Saint Laurent little waistcoat. I'll wear it with black trousers oh, and I'll wear it like with a little camisole underneath. That's yeah. more like for an event or an evening. I've got more. I've got this Saint Laurent little jacket. That's amazing. I actually got this from Relux um, and that I live in summer, winter. I like it because you can wear it day and night. Yeah. That's Yves Saint Laurent, just a smoking jacket. Wow. I love Nilly Lothan. I consulted for her love for a while. So yeah, this much. this is super nice because it's really fitted. But again, I wear this. I've got a pair of her black trousers. Oh yeah, it's lush. It's nice, no? And a lot of these things, pieces you've kept over the years, are they vintage? Are they? Um, uh, honestly, Lou, like a whole mixture. Like these are like when Nicholas Gasquier did Balenciaga. Nilly was like recently phoebe's yeah. obviously when phoebe was in celine this i love this is i used to work for philosophy up um with lorenzo and this is one of the jackets we had in the show wow. and this if i ever can't work out what to wear but have to go for a meeting yeah we'll just throw this on because I, I think it's a statement okay i love a short skirt yeah. so i have these ones so this is mew mew hmm, this is saint laurent but I'll wear these with black tights yeah. and I'll wear that to work because I f with black tights because yeah. I feel comfortable. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't get too pretty. So you, you'll you always add that piece. Yeah, that's and I'll always dress it down. Yeah, And I imagine there are pieces in your wardrobe that 
it, had they been put together, they would look that done way. Yeah. So you've got them there, but it's how you style it yeah. that that makes it. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is absolutely like like the Chanel's coat, yeah. or like for example these, right? Quite full on, but I would wear these with a black t-shirt, and I'd, I'd definitely wear flats. If not, I might even wear Converse. Yeah, and I would just sort of bring them down. So there's always that contrast yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't be wearing like a white shirt and the yeah. stilettos and looking more polished. Yeah. Is there a favorite celebrity that you've styled? I mean, I've worked with Kate Moss. Yeah. She's brilliant. I was shooting with Peter Lindbergh with her and <gasps> I put her in a pair of black pants actually a little top like this yeah. and a pair of Mary Janes that were by Repetto yeah. and she loved the Mary Janes yeah. and asked if she could keep them yeah, I feel like I can and, see and that was wearing hers. them and yeah. obviously she could wear them with a mini dress yeah. or whatever she looked she was amazing yeah. to work with because you I also it's she's someone that I would like yeah. and admire and sort of relate to in that sense and imagine that's more uh, it's like as an artist, yeah. Like you're putting your work you relate so to, to them to bring that yeah. to life. Yeah. So it's an extension of you. Charlize Theron, she was brilliant to work with. Yeah. Had no idea what she would be like, yeah. and she was fantastic. Yeah. And what about favorite shoots? I did a story for with Edie Campbell with the photographer Josh Olins for Holiday Magazine. Yeah. And it was an issue on Tokyo. It was really hard work. We're in a different location for every shot. Yeah. And we were struggling and we ended up having a few glasses of red wine at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and then we ended up getting really good shots in the hotel room. It was so bizarre. Amazing. But um, that and that won an award and that was that was great. And then wow. my husband's a photographer, so yeah. like I love doing stuff with him. Yeah. We don't shoot too much together because we think it's pretty unhealthy <laughs> and we'd kill each other. Um, but yeah, there's so many different ones. Michelle Williams, yeah. that was amazing. Um, I did turn her into a tomboy and very much, I think, influenced sort of my, like the leather jacket, the yeah. jeans and t-shirt. Let's talk pre-loved. You're obviously the founder of Relux. Mm -hmm. Whose wardrobe would you love to sell? Kate Moss. <laughs> Without doubt. Yeah. I'll All say. her old Galliano, yeah. John Galliano slip dresses. Her like star, star outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And what are your top tips with people who are looking to buy pre loved? Go through your wardrobe. What pieces are you missing? Are you missing a blazer? Yeah. Is it a striped shirt? Is it, I don't know, like a sort of little black dress, yeah. you know? And then go on site to see. Yeah but definitely tapping into brands and then the pieces you're missing and okay. have fun with it. Yeah. You know, you might not get it the first time, yeah. but then the more you get used to it, yeah. and also keep an eye because there's pieces like, I got that from Relux, that Saint Laurent jacket, you know, that was like, I'd have been four times as much, yeah. but I just kept an eye and when it came, I was like, okay, I definitely want that. What's the best piece that you have ever stocked on Relux? When we launched, I sold some of my pieces. Yeah. That's probably one of my biggest regrets. Really? Yeah. Um, there's a picture um, of me in these Balenciaga Nicholas Gasquier cargo trousers, and you can't get them anywhere. Yeah. And I thought it would be a good idea for launch to sell mine. Yeah. It was. It's a regret. No. Yeah, and I can't find them anywhere. So talking of wardrobe clearouts, then yeah. you've mentioned that you do that quite regularly. Yeah. How how do you approach that? I just go through and I honestly look and like, what's still got tags on? Yeah. What am I just clinging on to yeah. because I'm either too lazy to get rid of it or I'm just I don't know. I'm just keeping it in there for some maybe sentimental. Yeah. So as a stylist, you must be asked all the time. Mm -hmm. What should I wear? What yeah. am I wearing wrong? What's on trend? What is the number one question you get asked? Style me. <laughs> That's, and I, I actually love it. That is my happy place. Okay. I don't like dressing myself, but I am in such a happy place to style someone else. Okay, and what about the most treasured item in your wardrobe? Um, I probably should say my wedding dress, right? I mean. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like this. Yeah. For me, I love this bag and it's from my hubby um, and I will treasure this and I might give it to my daughter when she's like 45, um, <laughs> but, but I'm going to keep it. Um, this I love. And, and what about other accessories? Like this is such a classic. Um, I have these actually Phoebe Philo 
wow. Celine earring, and I love those. They're amazing. And I'm quite obsessed with belts as well. I noticed you had a good belt on. Yeah, I, I good am belt. very straight, so I need a belt to give me something here, and yeah. then I tuck. I feel quite naked without a belt or a tuck or like something. And can I say, I am forever taking my belt off yeah. and showing clients like be it you're straight, you're tiny, or even yeah. when you're slightly more curvy, yeah. to have a belt almost pulls you yeah. in and gives a focus point. I don't know, more yeah. more women need to invest in belts. But there you go, best. that's my motto. <laughs> this is a cape <gasps> belt. Oh, I love that. I was actually thinking I need more brown. Yes, mm. you always do. And this, I live in, Jean, you know, like with yeah, what lush. you've got on. Lush. We've seen a sneak peek of your Chanel. I think we need to see some more accessories. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, so talk me through handbags. Um, I love a bucket bag. Um, I have a few of these. So, so this handy. is, yeah, this is a Saint Laurent one, more recent. This is a Vita one. Yeah, really handy and yeah. easy. Yeah. And I'm not precious about my bags. I am a firm believer if you own a really nice but just wear it yeah don't keep it all wrapped up in the top of your wardrobe no, for like I the special day saving it for best like you're investing money in it just use it make it your everyday just use it yeah this one's a really fun one and this is more for the evening or honestly if i'm wearing one of my more boring outfits i would throw yeah. something like this on and this is a Celine one really easy i've ne i've now noticed a trend of mine which is like gold Jeez. chains yeah. <laughs> I, was just thinking I never knew that yeah. this is a Vintage Chanel. I've actually had it repaired. This is quite Yulu. This I is the Civet, their new style suede bag. Yeah. And I think that's really nice. That yeah, it's, really it's quite chic. good with your outfit to really, be honest, um, than mine. Nice and yeah, you can just get easy. Your on there. You it's can really basically cute. just get yeah your wallet and keys yeah. in there. A clutch? Would you ever use a clutch? No. No. I say that so like no, and I, I just like bought that. my mum a clutch for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you have it, mum. I, no, I, I bought her a Dries Van Noten one for Relux. Mm -hmm. I know, and she was like, ooh. Um, no, but I do like a clutch in the evening, but I'll only wear a clutch if I'm wearing trousers. Okay. Because otherwise I find Deep it. Fun. Yeah. I wouldn't wear a clutch. See? Yeah. Amazing. Well, it's been so fun. Thank you. Managing. I feel like we could be here for hours. Oh my God, no. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Right, more fashion. It's the start of a new fashion year. Do you feel inspired? Whose style are you loving on Instagram right now? Go. Okay, so I do feel inspired. Um, I'm loving Livia. I don't know if you know her, she's Brazilian. No. She just has so much fun with fashion. Mm. And I love that because there's a lot of neutrals going around. I mean, now we talked about the mob wife trend. So yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that that evolves a little, but Livia just has like, she, she, she went on a ski trip and she wore an inflatable ski suit pink, oh. like, a, but like it's a bit mad, but I yeah. love it. Yeah. And then another Brazilian lady, Malu, she's called Malu. She's famous for her um, unboxing because oh. she's like, oh, cool. <gasps> but she doesn't really speak. She, does, she, she just says, ah, and she looks fabulous and like perfect makeup, perfect body. But I, I love people that really have fun with the styling yeah. and with the colors and with, the, and with fashion in general. Yeah. Because that's the really difficult part of fashion, I feel like, like to make it you, yes. right? Yes, yes. So I, I really enjoy this type of profiles right oh. now. I'm really into Lara Worthington. Like, <laughs> I'm almost at the point where it's like, what would Lara wear? You Not, do, what actually, would Lara do? you do look a bit like her. Do you ever get oh, told that? No, I've never been told that, but thank. You've got <laughs> definitely. I'm really tempted to get my hair cut like that bit shorter but I feel like it's not it might not be the right oh, decision I think it'd look amazing she's got a lot less hair than me it's very short isn't it yeah but like as in I've got a lot of hair oh, okay so we'd have to do some really clever removal <laughs> um Lara's so she's so cool she does like a dressed up look in in a really cool way and then she does the dress down and she's just beautiful. She's got, her stylist is Vanessa Coyle, so I feel like there's a lot of genius behind okay. her clothing decisions. And she, if anyone doesn't know, she is Australian, yes. model married to Sam Worthington yeah. Yeah. Um, of Avatar and many other yes. movies fame. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I know he's been in other things, but he's, he's just, pretty mega. Just <laughs> but you Avatar just love her. I, love her. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, no, I just love her, yeah. Did you, who else did you have on your list? Vanita Carter. Vanita Carter, right. So if, if anyone were to look at her profile, they'd be like, Alexis, 
but <laughs> there has been a bit of a shift for me recently as my boys have got older and certainly my oldest Frank he's 18 and he's very cool and very fashion and he put me onto her and she no just, way yeah oh he's always put me onto things that's cool. He even said to me, <clears throat> with Laura Worthington, he was like, so my mum, I've got this guy, he's going to do me some grills. Did you want the grills? Because I know you like Laura Worthington's grills. Because she's got these like thin diamond ones that just go in here. And I was like, yes. So he, he's on it. And he's like, do you know that Laura follows you? And I was like, <gasps> really? He was like, mum, you're not checking this stuff. Anyway, he put me onto Vanida. And he was like, yeah, she's done a collab with Timberland. And I was like, oh. I don't know about that. And then I looked and I was like, she's so cool. She's really cool. Oh my gosh. She worked for Kanye um, and she's just styled the um, um, essentials for fear of God. Oh, she's, <laughs> so she's quite extreme the way she puts outfits she, together. Like I wouldn't probably wear it, but I... Yeah, I, some I of the look, bikini tops. Yeah, not, not, not that. And like very crazy baggy trousers and the trainers and the everything and the layering but it's t looking at her and taking elements of that I yeah. feel like I've been influenced by my boys and the way that they dress it's taken me back to my youth and how I used to dress so I'm kind of connecting again with that um, I'm not wearing anything like that today but I've started wearing a bit of more trainers more cargoes more hoodies it, I know, I'm leaning a bit to that. But that is any good editor or stylist, isn't it? It's taking right? the elements. Yeah. Like yeah. you said earlier, making it you. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, or making it your client, whatever yeah. right. works. Right. Um, Melissa Bond? Melissa Bond, again, another cool girl, I'd say, just sort of a more diluted version of what Vanita offers. But she she's, lives in Paris. I've met her. She's so, so lovely. She just dresses in a very Melissa way. And it's, it, it's just like... She, it's almost like she gives you permission to go, yeah, I'm going to wear that tabby with that sh pair of shorts. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, That's cool. I don't know, she's just presenting things that I just wouldn't have thought of. I um, love Anouk Eve. Do you oh, know her? Oh, yes. She's great. She's very elegant very. in the most low-key look and yeah. it's layered it's not as out there as no. some of the people you guys but for me it's inspiring for a sort of everyday look but I but I mean that in the chicest possible yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Absolutely. The way her, um, the way she plays with tone. Yeah. And it's very sort of minimal but elegant, isn't yes. it? Yes. And even the tiniest detail of the hair tucked in, yes. you know, those are the things that make it. Definitely. Um, and yeah. she's got, I think, two boys. And yeah. I just, I like sort of looking at people who might be similar age or also a mum or whatever. And yeah. you're like, what's realistic? Her house. And then is getting ideas. Too, oh, I haven't seen her house. Mm. I need to do some stuff. Oh my God. Her house. She's like not, she in she's, Amsterdam. No, or? she's out of Amsterdam. She's okay. like more in the country. <laughs> she's on twenty two. She yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but you can stalk her later. No, she's got the most beautiful. It's very minimal, very neutral. Okay. Oh yeah. That is the opposite to my aesthetic. If I'm I know, honest. I know. So, <laughs> the other person I want to shout out. It's not for her fashion, but for, she's an interior designer. Noel Pittman. Ooh. She lives in Dallas. Um, although I wouldn't say she has a Dallas aesthetic at mm -hmm. all. She is just so cool. And she's just, oh, she bought this old house, turned it into a shop and showroom. Oh, wow. And she, the homes she does are exquisite wow. and unique. And she just, she'll find an artisan who can do beautiful embroidery. And then they've done the curtains. And <gasps> yeah, I love, love, love. She love, sounds great. Like and her. so what, what aesthetic is that more? I don't, it's You're, layered. layered it's, yeah. it's, it's what I love, basically. Okay. Quite not traditional is the wrong word, but there's there there will be antiques. Yes, okay. you know there's nice. wood, wood <gasps> and like Ooh. yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, do do do. She's lovely as well. Right, more fashion next. Take a look behind the scenes at Nana's first shoot for Sheerlux. So we are in Shoreditch doing street star shoot, all about my style. I've picked out three looks. You'll just understand what my style is like once you see these shots. This is a little preview of one of the outfits that I'm going to wear. We're just scouting some locations for the first shot, um, having a look around. Um, obviously we can't shoot here because <laughs> a lot of graffiti going on. It's very <laughs> colourful. Um, so yeah, just kind of have a quick look around. And I like, yeah, a bit angled that way so there's like a bit of that beige in the background. This leather jacket is from Frankie Shop. It actually comes in one size. It's super, super oversized. I'm obsessed with the colour. This denim dress. 
long sleeved, love the big cuffs on it. This is from H&M and I think it's just a really good dress that you can wear kind of now and also in the summer you can have it undone, wear a little crop top underneath. And I've got it with some silver cowboy boots from Zara. Another pop of colour for me. This is styled by uh, Netta Porter. A bit about my style, it's always about colour. I don't actually wear jeans, but I adore denim. So a denim dress, denim skirt, denim shorts, I am all over. Um, and I just love looking really polished and well put together. With street style for us, it's more, it's less about the locations, it's more, you know, her style and we just kind of move around, find a nice spot. We want it to feel natural. It's just to keep warm dance. Yeah. <laughs> that, look, one is done. Um, we're just trying to do it as quickly as possible because it's quite cold and Nana's literally not even wearing tights. <laughs> She's very brave. Um, look at me in my 10,000 layers. Uh, but yeah, um, we're gonna head back, get changed and then head back out towards Spitalfields because there's like a really nice area to shoot. We shot around there before for Maya once. This fabulous jacket is from Warehouse. My fine knit is H&M. Short shorts are mango. Boots are mango. My baby. Who are your personal style icons? Oh, personal style icons. Number one would have to be Solange Knowles. Absolutely love her. Gabrielle Union, love her. My earliest fashion memory uh, would be my mum getting yeah. outfits yeah. made for me in traditional Ghanaian cloth for church when I was little and they were just such amazing dresses. I think that's where my love of fashion comes from. Red's just my favourite colour at the moment, which is why I've gone for a full on red look. The coat is Karen Millen, the dress is H&M and the shoes are from Reese. And then my favourite mini Gucci bag. I absolutely love Gucci. A lot of handbags and accessories um, that I own are from them. Love David Coma, the Attico. And then on the high street, I absolutely love H&M when they do a special collection. So any sort of studio or innovation. Um, and other stories, Arquette, Mango, Zara. I love just mixing bit of high end and high street all together. What is your favourite look that you had today? Oh that's really hard. Maybe the second one just because I love that zebra print coat is just such a statement. The boots are really comfortable. If you want to get a pair of knee high boots I can't recommend those mango ones enough. All right we finished our first yeah. shoot. Are you happy? Are you I am excited? so happy. My first sheer luck shoot. Oh um, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see the pictures. Yeah, I think it's going to um, be great. And yeah, we braved the cold. I know. I let's, know. Go, let's go back in time. Yeah. But yeah, very right. excited. Very successful morning. They've got quite a few Georgian restaurants. And uh, hang on a minute, Georgian as in the country. Yes, what are you mean? Mean? Sorry. <laughs> Period of time. No. <laughs> this is the opposite of like relief. Traumatic, I would say. It's the size of the snow. But I don't think there are some really, really tender, beautiful moments. I get the impression that she's re repeating herself quite a lot. Well, yeah. And there's also. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, definitely. And um, yeah, I just go all in on Scotland. I went last March. I think it's a good time to go because it's not bitingly cold. But I'm glad that like it's getting so much attention. Yeah, like, yeah. People are like Agreed. annoyed about it. And she does just look like an amazing, strong woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alec Grace Jones, and she references lots of other women that she is inspired by in that. Yeah. It I sounds think that's... so cheesy, but it really helps. Yeah, no, it does. I'm I... Usually... I mean, a lesson for wearing neon. Mm -hmm. She just she can wear any colour. I'm yeah. all for that. She's amazing. Like it it suits color. her personality yeah. too. I just yeah. love her. Um, this is my favourite bit of the show. What are you loving right now? It could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> we actually well. did our homework. We brought we did. something. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We're good, the good girls. Yes, we're good girls. It's like Blue Peter, something yeah. I made earlier. Do you want to go first? Should we? Okay. Because I, I really want to find out about your. 
Um, okay, right, so my first one is this candle. So the brand is Wings of Wisdom. I really practice this. <laughs> and uh, the founder is a friend of mine, Kathy. It's um, originally a fine jewelry brand, but she started doing candles as well. And this personally is my favorite one. This one is Memories of Summer, and we do need oh, that in Jan, yeah. don't we? Yeah. And uh, the packaging is just incredible. It's, I mean, I'm gonna pass yeah, it around because the smell is just beautiful. insane. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It's like a bit vanilla -y. Yeah, it's, it's stunning. Oh, it's so good, mm. yeah. And just the packaging, I normally, when I finish the can with the candle, it's, yeah. it's done, I use yeah. that. I use this for my yeah. makeup brushes or for, or for my cotton pads. Yeah. It's just a stunning oh, odd object yeah. to have. And then yeah. my second one, I'm just gonna leave this here. My second one, I feel like we talked about Rode earlier. Yes. Yeah. We gotta give credit to other brands as well, because I feel like she's <laughs> taking a lot of space right now. <laughs> Right? So this has been my favorite. It's a Jo Malone um, lip conditioner. I didn't even know no, they yeah. had products. And I found out about this because my friend, she's really fancy, and she has, in the <laughs> guest bathroom, she has little Jo Malone testers of like things. And this was one of those, and I fully stole it. But I'm glad oh, I, I did, that. because this is my favorite. It's, yeah, it's, it's basically the same as any other lip balm, but it's just, I don't know, I just, I just, like the I texture. just love it, yeah. Mm. It's just really stunning, in And fact, it's a lip conditioner? Yeah, it's, okay. it's just a, it's, I yeah. guess it's a lip balm, a lip yeah. gloss, whatever you want to call it, yeah, but it's lovely. just... Lovely. Oh. I just love yeah, it. get it on. Oh, nice one. <laughs> yeah. And I actually needed this. And then my <laughs> third one is actually a book. Mm which I'm loving right now and I really recommend. It's called Women Who Love Too Much. And it talks about, it's, it's quite a serious book, but it's very interesting. It talks about why, because I personally do love too much sometimes. Yeah. And the book really goes, like, talks about wh why is that? Mm. Is it trauma, childhood trauma? Is it, it's very serious, but in a very easy way. Yeah. And, um, I personally loved it and it, it, I, I went to my therapist talking about that because oh, wow. it, it was wow. that. It drew you Yeah, out. so I really, I really, it's very embarrassing. I don't remember who wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not But that. we'll let you know. <laughs> but I really recommend it. Thank you for that. Yeah. I love that. Very, like, diverse group yeah. of things. <laughs> so I also bought some things. Um, okay, so I have just treated myself to the AirPods Max. Should we just get them out of their lovely sleeve? <laughs> yeah. um, these, yeah, I treated myself because I like what they look like. I needed a new pair of headphones anyway, but also for me, they're just, as quite a social person, when I go on work trips, I'm very like spending a lot of time talking to people and I feel I need to kind of protect those <laughs> traveling moments and just maybe just have my own time. You don't even put anything on, do you? Right, you no. Just wear, so just wear them wear people them. know I not think to talk to putting you. Putting these on, it's like, don't talk to me. I'm yeah. having my own time. Also, I like what they look like, as, I, as I've already mentioned. Anyway, so that's, that's thing number one that I'm loving. That's over there. And um, then I've also got a lip product. It comes in its own little sleeve, Love. which I probably don't need to use, but I, I do. And it's the Westman Atelier. I think it's it's a lip... Oh, it's called a liquid lip balm, but it's much more like a gloss. Oh, nice. And this is shade Nunu. And I'm not a glossy person, but since this no makeup thing, this is what I'm choosing. Is that what you're lip. wearing today? Yes. That looks and it lovely. sort of soaks in very slowly and just gives you very healthy lips. I feel like you'd like this. Yeah. When you run out of that one. Mm. Um, and then... Oh yeah, also, I'm loving these, but we've already- Can we go previous. higher we, so we, we can see them? We are loving They're those. They're beautiful. Yeah. Jill I have two. there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> those are gorgeous. Yeah, I've, I, I don't wear colour. Well, not really. Um, and yeah, I think it's time that I just submitted Dip to this- Dip a toe, this, this, excuse this, the this pun. Shade. Yeah, a little bit of that, so. Shall I go? Please. I've got a TV show that- Ooh. Oh. It's the best show of, that I watched last year, Drops of God. <gasps> I love it. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Yes. yes. It's Drops on so Apple. Yes. And it's about the wine industry and yeah. sommeliers, but there's some Ooh. drama and the setting is oh. between Paris, the south of France, or vineyards within France, Ooh, I'm sorry. And, and Tokyo. Yeah. So oh, it's random. just, and it's so beautifully shot that yeah. the first episode finished. And yeah. I thought we were watching a film. Yeah. It's that beautifully yeah. shot. And I was like, oh. 
This is, that's never happened. And you wow. don't even notice it's subtitles, do you? Not at all. Which actually makes you not look at your phone, yeah. so you're fully immersed. Yeah. You know when you find yourself thinking about something in the day, you're like, oh, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> and yes. it makes you really want to drink wine. Yes. Um, then I've got, quickly, I feel like this needs a shout out. Ooh, I don't know what it's I've called. I've just bought one of them. Have you got one? <laughs> come on, come here. Are you allowed on camera? Come on. Oh my God, show, come show on. <laughs> <laughs> um, little sticky thing. No, so does he when you work on the wall? Oh, okay, no. Oh, wait, okay, it does. Yeah. Oh, no. It sticks on everything else. On glasses. Yeah, and then you can just do your quick, you know, video or whatever. And then, um, and that, funny we all chose lip. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> lip. Um, but Violette FR, which we all love. It's yeah. beautiful packaging and it is a makeup artist in France, Paris. Paris yeah. yeah. And I just love this particular shade. It's that called looks Calisson. Lovely, actually. Is that the one I have on? Look at that one. Yeah. It's so stunning. It's sort yeah. of, oh, it's, is that what you've been wearing? Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's beautiful. It's really nice, yeah. warm. It's a nude but not a cold nude. Yeah. No. Yeah. So um, it doesn't have like bluey undertones. And it's everything, very can nice. I just say everything that she does is 100% natural. Yes. I show her, I showed her, I got some serums from her brand and I showed them to my facialist and she said, I've never seen ingredients like this. Oh, wow. So it's really, really good. So for you've your been yeah, using the serums? Yeah, the serums. Oh, cool. There's okay. like this yeah. set of different yeah. serums for each, um, I don't know, for acne prone skin, for, for this, for right. anti-aging, they're amazing. So <gasps> Ooh. big shout out to her. Check that out. Helpful mm. show, wasn't it? Oh, it oh, thank you, guys. I'm gonna do some shopping. <laughs> yeah, I've got some like so Instagram dangerous. accounts to delve into. Yeah. Imagine if it was live buy. shopping as well. No. Add to cart, add to cart. No. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, we would kill it if yeah. that was the case. Yeah. QVC. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much to you all and the SL team. Next week, Nana is hosting the show with more fabulous guests. We catch up with a food industry legend. Plus, we spend the day with SL art director to see what she gets up to in a typical day. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye.